examples and now I'll show you the electrical system. So uh, up front uh, you've got two banks of nine batteries uh, but only 16 of them are plugged up to the BMS's. Uh, every BMS manages four cells. Uh, each cell uh, when being managed is indicated by these four corner LEDs. Uh, to show you that the BMS is communicating, a little blue pulse in the middle comes on every once in a while just to show you that it's functioning properly. Um, if that goes yellow or amber, uh, there is a problem. Um, it's not charging now, so there's no balancing going on, so you don't see any red LEDs. But when it's balancing the cells out, that's what it does. Um, then we have 16 active cells in the front here. Uh, two extra on the end here. Uh, that's just the nature of the BMS. So in the future, if any one cell goes bad, you always have some reserve cells there to replace them with. Uh, this is the reservoir for the cooling system. For the 1400 amp, 260 volt net gain controller that's in the front there, running the 9 inch DC motor underneath. Uh, this is your, I believe it's a 600 watt DC to DC converter. Takes your pack voltage at 180 ish volts, turns it down to 12 volts to charge your ancillary systems. Uh, this is a uh, relay contactor for the uh, power steering pump. Um, that over there is the pump for the cooling system for the controller. Um, and that right there is a contactor to energize the whole system. So nicely packed all up front here along with the uh, standard automotive gear uh, that takes you uh, 12 volts. Uh, that's actually the contactor for the heater coil in the back. As I said, this vehicle has heat, but it does not have AC. Um, that's the purge line for the coolant uh, for the heating system, uh, if you ever needed to get that, get to that. And there's room back here to put more uh, a, um, air conditioning componentry. So if you buy the little compressor motor, uh, to install an AC unit in here, um, it's pretty easy to do. Probably cost you $250, $300. But in San Diego, you don't really need it. I'll walk you back here and show you the uh, components in the rear of the car. So again, uh, you've got more of the 52 cells uh, in the back here. Uh, every four cells is managed uh, by one of these BMSs right here. Uh, in the back, we have four packs. So we have all of these individual BMS's running four cells each and then the cells on the end down here are ran by this last BMS over here so everybody's got a BMS managing them um, on the side here you have a charger it's a three kilowatt charger I'll show you the standard plug this is what I use at my house uh, it's actually a 110 30 amp plug uh, but I use it on a 220 30 amp line uh, you know not uh, not too wise, but it's never seemed to get too hot. I put a thermal gun on it. I don't really like this connector really at all because when you have it plugged into the wall, now you have a live connection when you plug it into the vehicle. So um, it's just not very nice. Uh, the J1772 on the front of the vehicle is much, much nicer. Uh, but easy peasy, plug it in. I do have some uh, fusing on there if there is any faults. Uh, but green light on the charger is on. That means it's charging and uh, it will do 3.2 kilowatts out of my wall there. Um, take it up to the, uh, to the front of the car. I can show you the um, BMS interface so I can show you each cell in the system and how it's doing. Uh, I keep it on the car under the, uh, under the passenger seat here, uh, but you just pull out the laptop. Uh, open it up um, It is already plugged into the CAN bus there um, And the cord for the CAN bus really just runs to the back of the vehicle uh, Through the back seat and to the BMS's in the back um, As you can see in this program uh, You can see the power in kilowatts how much is charging right there 3.1 It's kind of hard to see on this video. I'll try to get a better angle Uh I don't know if I can get it plugged in. I think I jockeyed the USB cable loose there. Uh, but it's uh, it's right there, 3.1 kilowatts it's charging. Uh, it's got 13 battery cells, meaning 13 BMSs. 
the highest cell is 3.38 volts the lowest cell is 3.32 volts down here on the screen it shows you all the cells in the system and the pink is the highest or red is the highest voltage and the blue keeps jumping around is the lowest voltage so uh, it's charging right now uh, we haven't taken that much charge out of it maybe a tenth of the pack on that test drive uh, it also shows you the uh, temperature uh, because we have the thermistors uh, backwards on all of our connections it shows negative temperatures but um, easy to see where the temperatures are um, and if it's shunting anything it'll show you when the shunts are on here so it's kind of an easy interface uh, you also have some programmability in this so you can you can see what the controller settings are and you can see what the charger settings are and you know go into to bigger detail uh, you can see a main charge screen that's a little more gooey and you know that all the systems are okay um, the resolution on this small laptop is a little different um, but if you want the program for this and you uh, want the laptop uh, it's an easy way to check on the system uh, at any one time um, and you know it's always nice to have have data at your disposal especially if you're diagnosing anything uh, but that's pretty much it um, the display is not on when obviously the car is not on but the battery gauge does always work so you can uh, peek in and see where your state of charge is at any time so uh, that's it. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Good luck bidding.